I'm uh, Kutai Deniz Atabay. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Whitehead Institute in the Redeen Lab, studying regeneration in the nervous system. Planarians are uh, freshwater flatworms that have the ability to regenerate from any kind of injury and that they have been studied for hundreds of years to uncover mysteries of regeneration. Eye transplantation is a technique we developed in the lab to study different regenerative dynamics. What we are working with is an adult organism and we wanted to transplant an adult eye into an adult organism and see if it would be maintained by the organism. We were hypothesizing that if we put an ectopic eye in this anatomical zone, this, this eye would be maintained because of its self-organizing uh, nature. We worked on developing this technique for about uh, half a year to a year, trying to get the, the, the minute mechanics right. So the animal is anesthetized, the, the recipient, and then uh, transplant the eye inside a specific slit we regenerate in the recipient. And then we cover the animal with agar so that the animal cannot move. The next day we come and we try to remove the agar, free the animal, and then with some success rate up to maybe uh, 70, 80% of the animal will have the eye fused. After that, if the eye is transplanted in the correct location, the eye is indefinitely maintained. And uh, that eye also will wire itself into the brain. And so one could actually study axonal dynamics in isolation. So you can transplant an eye and then watch the axons uh, take their route and then see them how they integrate into the, into the brain. One could actually study the external molecules that normally guide these processes in uh, normal development or in regeneration. And then we can actually inhibit genes and then see what the axon would do in the absence of this molecule. There's also the uh, neurophysiological aspects of this. Uh, basically the question is how does the brain deal with addition of new eyes into the system? Do the axons compete to connect to their targets in the brain? This tool I think could be beneficial for these types of questions in the future.